वेलकम फ्रेंड्स इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द काय स्क्वायर टेस्ट दिस काय स्क्वायर टेस्ट इज आल्सो फॉर स्मॉल सैंपल्स स्मॉल सैंपल्स में इज द साइज ऑफ द सैंपल n इज लेस देन 30 देन सच सैंपल्स आर नोन एज स्मॉल सैंपल्स फॉर सच सैंपल्स अगेन वी आर डूइंग द काय स्क्वायर टेस्ट इन द प्रीवियस वीडियोस आई हैव डिस्कसड फॉर स्टूडेंट टी डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन फॉर स्मॉल सैंपल्स in this here i am discussing for chi square test in this chi square distribution provides us to measure the correspondence between theoretical frequencies and observed frequencies here usually this chi square distribution we are using for test the theoretical frequencies comparison between the theoretical frequencies and observed frequencies whether they are nearly equal or not or goodness of fit theoretical frequencies and observed frequencies are goodness of fit because where they where they are similar to the each other or not we are testing using chi square distribution okay then how to calculate that chi square distribution if o1 o2 o3 and on are the observed frequencies or experimentally we are getting the frequencies and if e1 e2 en are the corresponding expected frequencies okay expected frequencies means calculated frequencies or theoretical frequencies then chi square is given by chi square is equal to this is known as chi k i a chi pronunciation as a chi okay summation i equal to 1 to n o i minus okay it is o i minus e the whole square and it sum i equal to 1 to n for each term we are taking the oi divided by each okay therefore n equal to the and the degree of freedom is for n minus 1 for series and then what is the degree of freedom here the number of degrees of freedom is the total number of observations less than the number of independent constraints here total number of observations n and the degree of independent constraints number of independent constraints k is give you degree of freedom here k is nothing but the number of independent constraints and n is the number of observations okay then for the degree if the data is taken in the series if the data is given in the series then the degree of freedom we are considered as n minus 1 in case of binomial distribution also we are taking the degree of freedom as n minus 1 whereas in the poisson distribution we are taking the degree of freedom as n minus 2 and in case of normal distribution also n minus 3 therefore there are three constraints are there in normal distribution in poisson distribution two constraints in binomial distribution only one constraint is there that's why these are the degree of freedoms for them we are going to use and in fitting of goodness for binomial distribution and poisson distributions little bit uh, revision i am going to do here that is uh, while fitting the binomial distribution again binomial distribution pdf we know that is p of x is equal to n c x p raised to x q raised to n minus x where x is the number of successes and p is the probability of success q is the probability of failure therefore using this theoretical frequency is given by p of x into total frequencies or total number of observations will give you theoretical frequencies for binomial distribution like that for poisson distribution pdf is given by e raised to minus m m raised to x divided by x factorial okay and the theoretical frequency is given by p of x into sum of all the frequencies or total number of observations and in this case one thing you have to make clear that if the calculated value of chi square is less than the is less than the table value of chi square then with a specific level of specified level of significance 99% or 95% level of confidence or 5% level of significance or 1% level of significance the hypothesis is accepted here if it is less than we are accepting and if it is more than that we are going to reject it okay 
this is the basic about the chi square and some simple few examples i am going to do here okay okay the example on chi square distribution is a die is rolled 60 times and the frequency distribution for the number of appearance of uh, on the face x is given by the following table x the number of faces if one dot is appearing 15 times it is observed and two dots are observed six times three dots are observed four times four dots are observed seven times and five dots are observed 11 times six are observed 17 times test the hypothesis that a die is a bias or not okay then when do you say that a die is a biased one if we are tossing 60 times here we are tossing 60 times that die therefore total six faces are there our expected frequency for each face should be okay how to calculate that if a die is unbiased if a die is unbiased unbiased then expected frequencies expected frequencies frequencies for each face is equal to total 60 times we are tossing total number of faces are here 6 therefore expected frequency for each face each x value is 10 but how much you are getting for one it is 15 for two it is 6 like that that's for whether this testing of frequency is uh, fitting or not in that i am going to test here goodness of fit okay okay my null hypothesis here h not is null hypothesis is a uh, die is a die is unbiased a die is unbiased that is that is expected frequencies ei i will call them as ei that is equal to 10 okay and alternate hypothesis is a die is biased one die is biased one that is expected frequencies is not equal to 10 here okay then Uh, to calculate this uh, uh, chi square let me perform a table so that it will become easy for us to calculation and all those things okay let me take x okay x and observed frequencies i will take it as a oi observed frequencies okay and here ei i will take as a expected frequencies and then my chi square formula chi square formula is sum of oi minus ei the whole square divided by ei correct therefore that column also i'll calculate here that is oi minus ei square divided by ei calculation okay then what are my x values here x values are faces of the from this one. okay that is 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 okay table i performed these are my x values number of faces and observed frequencies in the example they were given those things i will note down here that is 15 6 4 7 11 and 17 and what are my expected frequencies theoretical frequencies just now calculated a die is if it is unbiased expected frequencies for each face is total i am uh, tossing it 60 times then total six faces are there therefore my each face should get a 10 frequency 10 times it should come out but it is giving you 15 observed frequency therefore each one is 10 10 here 
for each phase it is a tan tan then to calculate this table i will show you one simple way in the calculator okay first of all keep the mode of the calculator to uh, mode of the calculator to computer mode complex mode uh, then uh, calc option i have to use okay use the brackets or divide by you can use first divide by use a the bracket then alpha a minus alpha b bracket square divided by alpha b okay this is my as a formula for this one a minus b the whole square divided by ei okay then for each value of a and b i am going to calculate this okay first time a calc option class for a a value is your 15 next b value is 10 okay for your reference i will write here a and this one as a b okay then b value is 10 that is a 5 by 2 or in decimals you can write it as a 2.5 like that again equal to only you have to press second time a equal to 6 and b equal to 10 and it is 1.6 okay like that for a equal to 4 and b equal to 10 my calculated value is 3.6 that means directly i am going to get the values next a equal to 7 b equal to 10 and this comes out to be 0.9 like that next don't operate the ac button then only equal to button a to last it is 11 and 10 and it is a 0.1 next a equal to 17 and b equal to 10 and it gives to be 4.9 sum of all these things values will give you sum of all these values will give you what uh, chi square okay directly i am going to write that one here total Okay, this total sum is going to give you. It is a thirteen point six. This is your calculated value of chi square, and observed value or table value of chi squares in the problem they are given, or even you can use the table for that. Okay, for degree of freedom here, total six faces are there. Series, therefore, degree of freedom is here. Degree of freedom is our. Uh, what you can say n minus one five. Therefore, for it n minus one degree of freedom, its value is eleven point zero seven. For which is nothing but the chi square for five percent level with the degree of freedom five. Okay, in the table they have given, or you can use the uh, table for that. For five degree of freedom, five degree of freedom. And five percent. That is eleven point zero seven. Okay, like that. Okay, next, which is greater than this. And for next, fifteen point zero nine is also there given. Therefore, it is chi square for zero point zero one percent with degree of freedom one. Okay, degree of freedom five only, which is less than that. Therefore, therefore. the di is therefore h not is rejected rejected for 5% and accepted for 1% that is di is di is biased Biased for five percent and unbiased, unbiased for one percent level of significance. Means if it is greater than, we are rejecting. If it is less than, we are accepting this. Okay, like this. Some more examples on fitting of binomial distribution, on fitting of Poisson distribution, and different different type of problems. I am going to solve on a chi square. in my next videos so please subscribe my channel and give the comments and also don't forget to hit the 
लाइक बटन थैंक यू फ्रेंड्स